Now in this question, in the diagram, OPQ is a sector of a circle. So we have OP and Q. Okay. Now, and the radius is given to you by R. So here we know the radius of this sector is R centimeters. Now angle QOP, QOP is theta, radians. The tangent to the circle at Q meets OP, extended at R. So as you can see, it tells you that the tangent to the circle at Q, so here we have Q, and this is a tangent, it will meet, um, meet OP, OP, continuing at this point. Okay, no big deal. We know this. Uh, these are the given information that we have as well on the diagram, right? So everything here, it is just the same thing given to you in this paragraph. Now let's move on to the questions. So part one, we have to show the area A of the shaded region is given to you by this. Okay, so we have to find this area right here. So how can you find this? So we have to think step by step. So logically thinking, we can first find the area of the whole triangle. So that will be number one. We can find the area of the triangle O Q R. That's the first step. If that makes sense, we find the whole thing. And then we can minus the area of the sector of the sector O P Q so that the remaining area will be the one that we need. So as you can see, there's two steps. First, find the big one, and then minus a the small one, so we can have only this one left, and that's the one that we need. Now, how can you find the area of a triangle? Now we observe. Here we have, you can see here, we have a right angle triangle. Now whenever we have a right angle triangle, we can use a formula. So the formula to find the area of a triangle when you have a right angle triangle, it will be half times base and times perpendicular height. So let's check. So the base here we know it is R. Half is half, doesn't change. And we have to find the height. What is the perpendicular height? Now again, we can find this by using Sokatoa because it is a right angle triangle, if that makes sense, right? So. Let me draw this triangle here. So let's say we have our triangle here. For example, that's my right angle triangle. Angle here is theta. This is O, Q, and R. Now we know the height here. We are trying to find this value. This is given to you by R as the radius. Now we understand that because it is a right angle triangle, we can use a few ways to find the height. So here we can obviously use Sokatoa to find the value of h. So using Sokatoa. So let's see what size do we have. So here we have the a side, right, between the right angle and the angle. That will be the a side, so a and a. And here we're trying to find this side. This is the opposite side, so o. That will be 10. So we have to use 10 of the angle is equal to the opposite side, which is h, over the a side, which is r. So which means h, the height, will be r times tan theta. Replace back in your main equation, as you can see, half time base time height. This will be the area of the triangle. So this is part one of the question. So here we're able to find the area of this triangle. Now for part two, we're trying to find the area of the sector OPQ. Now this is pretty easy. We need to know or we have to know the formula of this, how to find the sector, area of the sector. That will be half R square theta. Now this is only in radians, so we have to use that formula. That will be half times R square, which is the radius. It is R, as you can see. And this is exactly theta. So here you go. Now this is the area, and this is the area that we need to find this part exactly. So let me replace this everything back in the main equation. So the shaded area that we need to find is number one, which is this one, half 
r square tan theta minus the area number 2 which is half r square theta so factorize take out half because they are the same in both take out r square because they are the same in both and remaining will have tan theta minus theta and this is guess what shown as required for your two marks okay that is part one of the question now for part two in this case in the case where so here we have theta equal to 0 0.8 and r equal to 15 we have to find the length of the perimeter of the region now again what is perimeter we have to know the definition of this it is the distance around distance around the region that we need to find around the region so let's see in this case what are we trying to find we're trying to find the distance around this object so we're trying to find pr q r and then qp so our value for p will be the sum of qp plus pr and then plus qr as you can see again step by step we are trying to find out what we need to find to give back the required value for your question now qp is what it is the value here which is the length of arc now we have to understand the length of arc is given to you by a formula which is r which is uh, the radius that will be 15 given to you and theta is the angle 0 0.8 so r theta will be the length of the of the arc now for part two pr will be this one so how can you find pr so if you think there's definitely a way we can first find or oh, let me first find this one because this one was found out already because we know this was the the height right the value of h now we have seen h was equal to r tan theta so let me write this down first this one was found to be r tan theta r is 15 tan theta will be 0 0.8 now plus we have to find this one pr how would you find the length of PR? Like, let's observe. To find this length, we can first find the whole length, right? And then minus R, which is, which is given to you now, to obtain this one. So let me write this down. To find the length of PR, we can first find the whole thing, which is OR, and then minus the value of OP, which we know it is the radius. OP is the radius, it is 15 given to you. So we first have to find the value of OR. Now if you observe here, to find OR, it, does, it is also pretty easy because we have a, we have a right angle triangle. We can use Sokatwa again, or you can use the Pythagoras theorem. It is up to you. Uh, I can use Sokatwa in this case, um, or the Pythagoras theorem. So let me try this method. So I have this right angle triangle. This is R. This is Q, this is O. This is the angle theta, which is now 0 0.8, as we have seen. This is the radius R, which is 15. This is right angle. And we're trying to find the length of OR. Right. Let's call this the value of X. We're trying to find X in this case. Now, I will try to use Sokato, but of course you can use the Pythagoras theorem in this uh, question for this part. Now, we have this A side, so we have A side. And I'm trying to find the hypotenuse, which is H side. That will be cos of the angle. That will be A side first, 15 over the H side, which is this hypotenuse. Now, H is X here, so as I call it X, so X will be 15 divided by cos of 0 0.8. We have to use radians here. That will be 21. 0.52986, which is, should be 21.53. Let's write this for now. Now, this is the length of OX, so OR, which is the whole thing. And as we have seen, we only care about PR. So OR is 21.53. So 21.53 minus 15, that will be 6.53. Okay, so that will be part one of the, the part one of, so we have to find this here, so 6.53. So now let's add everything together to find the perimeter that we 
actually trying to find. That will be 15 times 0 0.1.8 uh, plus 6.53 plus 15 and 10 of 0 0.8. That will be 33.974. But obviously, we have to express non exact values to 3SF. That will be 34.0, and that will be centimeters as your answer. Okay, so that will be your question for circular measure for this type of question. So as you can see, we always try to proceed step by step. And there's a few things you have to know, such as the uh, formulas. For example, here we have to know what to use to find the area of a sector, right? And also we know how to know when we have a right angle triangle, how, what, what formula we can use to find the area of the triangle. And also we can use Sokatois and Pythagoras theorem when we have a right angle triangles. So these are the few concepts behind these questions that we have to know to solve this question. And this is the question that we have for circular measure.